Hey everyone, my name is Greg Kennedy and I'm going to show you a very simple way to take pictures of sheet music and other documents so that they appear flat and legible. What you'll need for this project is a stand, like a music stand, for holding your document, a tripod to securely hold your camera, and enough ambient background light positioned at an off angle from your camera. You're going to want to position your music stand and your tripod to be at the same height. And you want your camera a good distance away from the stand. That's because we're going to zoom in as far as possible on your camera using the optical zoom. This will eliminate the most of the fisheye effect that you'll get from standing too close to your document. Turn your document on its side. This way the most of it will fill up the frame on your camera. You should aim to keep your camera as level as possible on the tripod. Any changes that need to be made to the position of the document should be made on the music stand instead. The idea is to shoot as directly head-on as possible. Find a way to disable the flash on your camera. Don't use it. All that will happen is that you'll get an ugly glare in the middle of your document and it'll ruin the image. If you find that you need more light, position more light sources at 45 degree angles between the document you're shooting and your camera. Once you have everything lined up as best as you can, set your camera from the manual focus mode and hit the button. Then, be careful not to move anything until after you've completed taking all of your shots. If your camera has a museum or document setting, now would be the ideal time to use it. But if you don't, you can set yours for A, for aperture priority, turn the ISO down as low as it will go, and then set the aperture somewhere between F5 and F8. This will make sure that your document is sharp all the way out to the edges. Once you've finished setting up everything the way that you need it, simply set the self-timer and push the button. This will ensure that the act of pushing the button with your finger doesn't disturb the camera on the tripod and blur your shot. If you find that your camera still doesn't have enough resolution to capture the details of your document, don't worry. You can take a document photo in two steps and then use some photo editing software to stitch them together. To do this, position your document vertically, align your shot so that you're taking a photo of the top of your music, and take the shot. Once you've finished taking a photo of the top of every page of your document, you can go back, raise the stand, and take photos of the bottom of every page. Remember, don't adjust the angle of the camera during this time. The idea is always take pictures as directly as possible. Once you've captured both images and you've downloaded them to your computer, you can stitch them together using photo stitching software like you might find in Photoshop or Windows Live Photo Gallery.